Business is as usual at WCP Solutions in Medford, but things are quickly changing. We used to sell a lot of uh, dart foam containers, foam cups, but we've seen a, a huge trend, obviously, moving away from that. WCP is a large distribution center with many locations in the Northwest, providing a wide range of products from packaging supplies to food service supplies. WCP Divisional Manager Dave Schaffen says they've almost always sold biodegradable and compostable products, but recently they've seen a bigger demand. In the last probably two years, we've seen a significant increase in customers asking for uh, the environmental friendly alternatives, straws, lids, cups, and then of course to, uh, to go containers. Just this month, Governor Kate Brown signed into law two bills aimed at making Oregon more eco friendly. One law bans restaurants and other food and beverage companies from giving out single use plastic straws unless a customer specifically requests one or they're going through a drive through. The other law bans single-use plastic bags and requires businesses to charge at least five cents at checkout for paper, reusable plastic, or fabric bags. Some business, however, have been doing this long before these restrictions were in place. We have had a goal to become zero waste since um, 2009, actually, so we're 10 years down the road. So now we only offer paper straws, and we also offer a reusable stainless steel straw that's 75 cents. Ashland Food Co-op also offers reusable produce bags and paper bags at checkout for a price. But these new restrictions tack on an added cost for businesses. Switching from plastic to paper or biodegradable products can be double or even triple the price. Really the end user and those uh, our customers are the ones that are bearing the, the brunt of uh, this legislation because it, it is quite costly for the, uh, the eco products. And other distribution companies like WCP are feeling the impacts of the bill. But Chafin says it hasn't been a difficult switchover, just something new the company has to learn about. We've had to educate ourselves on the difference between recyclable, compostable, biodegradable, and be ready to offer those solutions to many of the customers. But the Ashland Food Co-op says the increase in prices is worth it to protect the environment. We really want to take as many very clear, honest, capable steps that we can towards becoming more zero waste. And it's one day at a time, one step at a time.